Okay, all you mo maniacs. What we have here is a what's called a YT3000 Craftsman. This is a, uh, I believe it's around a 2010. See that right there? Want to know what year it is? See that uh, A on that model no serial number? The two numbers before that is the year. It's 2012. It's 2012. It's eight years old. It's newer. It's newer than the uh, some of the old crap I got, which is way better. Anyway, this is the motor that's in it that has a failing uh, compression release. It will not start. And they will not start. Uh, sorry, Briggs and Stratton, but in my book, you completely failed the consumers. Because uh, when a compressor release don't, it ain't gonna turn over. I don't care. Yep, it will not work. So that's a serious problem. You can say, oh, you need to adjust the valves. Well, you can adjust those valves, but this one here, eh, the valves were so tight that they weren't uh, sealing to get it to roll over, and then it that ain't working. Compression release is stuck. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this engine, which guess it, guess what? I got this engine out of a lot of stuff that was on big pallet, sold at Sears, the warehouse. And I had it sitting on a shelf, and I took this mower in trade. I built him a nice, badass GT5000 GT with a V-twin engine. Anyway, he gave this to me. He goes, here, I'll give it. Well, I'd knock a hundred bucks off his garden tractor. And he's so happy with his garden tractor. And, he, you know, I ended up with this. And I thought, well, I got that motor on the shelf. Well, you've seen it. It doesn't work. Man. Helicopters. All right. This is what's going in it. This is a, uh, it's only an 18 and a half horse. Wow, well, man, it's not enough power. Well, listen. These things got a heavy flywheel. They kick ass. And uh, if uh, this motor here will wear out three of these lawnmowers. It came out of an OA MTD that was in pretty good shape, but it was a piece of junk. Because MTD's MTD, Michigan tool and die. Lowest quality uh, item in the lawnmower business. Anyway. The V-Twin is a pretty badass engine. It only takes uh, one and three quarters quarts of oil. It, uh, was it 48 ounces? I think it's 48 ounces. No filter, you don't need a filter. Just make sure it's got enough, enough oil. But, not too much on this engine. You know why? It's because it will leak out it will leak out this crankshaft seal that's up in here, which you really can't, you ain't gonna see it. Anyway, this is my dyno bench. I'll start it up later, get it all running when I pull this out. But uh, it's gonna be a retro, and it's gonna go in here, and it just fits. I already measured it, it just fits. But it's gonna be kick ass when it's done. I can barely own to you. Now the, uh, I believe it's gonna plug right in because that plug is the same as this plug and I'm excited. I'm overly excited. Red and the black. Red and the white. White, black, you know. Eh, it's black and white, what the hell. So, okay. Video number three on this will be probably starting that engine and having that engine out and then i'll go with a final product when it's done and i'm crossing my fingers that everything goes good have a good day america